I'm speaking today to Rachel Evans, who is one of the candidates on the Socialist Alliance New South Wales Senate ticket in the coming federal elections. Please tell us a bit about yourself and the political campaigns you have been involved in. Uh, so hi, Rachel on Gadigal land, Eora Nation in Warring or what's known as Sydney. So I got involved in the anti-apartheid movement when I was 12 and 13. My father was very involved in the Uniting Church and so we started to hand out leaflets against Shell as part of the Shun Shell campaign. and and my family was really involved in Palm Sunday rallies. So the peace movement and when the refugee campaign hit, they were very involved in that campaign as well. So, so yeah, I, um, I got really incensed at the Iraq war in 1991 and I came across direct action and then Green Left. And I read uh, lots of the articles, agreed with everything and was particularly excited by the feminist politics um, young woman, 16, 17, and um, really, really related to the beauty myth and the work by Naomi Wolf, Susan Faludi, and joined resistance then. I was also really excited by the Latin American revolutions, Nicaragua and Cuba, so I, um, I went to Cuba later and, and became really inspired by the prospects of revolutions um, in the Latin America region, but uh, across the world. So that's a little bit of why I got active in the socialist movement and and now um, involved in Socialist Alliance in Sydney and have been active in the marriage equality campaign um, and queer rights. So that's been a big part of the last 15, 20 years, um, coming out of the closet and realising that second class citizenship wasn't anything to swallow so organising lots of rallies and actions and occupations and um, lots of street heat over those 14 years of that campaign. And now we've got trans rights. Um, we've got to really fight for trans rights and for kids and teachers to be accepted in schools. One of the overarching slogans of the Socialist Alliance election campaign is system change, not climate change. Can you please explain what you mean by this? Yeah, it's a really good slogan and actually there's lots of placards that you see at the high school student strikes um, that say the same thing. So capitalism is destroying the planet. It is really clear and it is so apparent now in Australia that we have this apocalypse phase, unfortunately, floods, fires, um, species extinction, our gorgeous koala. So. We have to name the beast and we have to organise against the beast. And anti-capitalists and socialists are really good at organising counterpower and that's people's power. So really supporting the high school student strike actions and unions that are coming out for 100% renewables in 10 years, which is really what we've got to do. We've got to win that and then we have to sink carbon. We have to sink carbon, we have to sink methane. And that's about rejuvenating the soils um, and it's rejuvenating the rivers um, and it's making sure that the oceans remain at a, um, a temperature which plankton can live in. All of these measures, um, we, can, we, can, we can get these measures up and running if we have an economy for the people and the planet. At the moment, the economy is for the 1%. So that's our problem. The system needs to be changed and we need people's power to do it. What are other key issues that the Socialist Alliance New South Wales Senate campaign will be taking up? We've got a great team of Paolo Sanchez and Nico Lico and myself. Uh, we are taking up issues around uh, floods, uh, climate change. We're taking up issues around stopping coal seam gas in the Pilliga. We're taking up issues around the nuclear, the threat of nuclear war and nuclear submarines and, and the ports that they want to put out and up. Um, we're taking up issues around trans rights. The religious discrimination bill uh, just got shelved in New South Wales after a big fight. That's fantastic, but um, you know we've still got issues around uh, teachers and students being comfortable and able to express themselves in private schools, independent Catholic schools and religious schools. So that's, that's an ongoing battle uh, that we're taking up and, 
yeah, we're taking up issues around um, railway railway workers and um, the trains. We're taking up issues around um, funding for education. There's a whole raft of injustices and um, yeah, police brutality to First Nations communities in this state and custodial services, deaths in custody. So these are some of the issues where we're taking up and being involved in. Um, International Women's Day was just, you know, a couple of weeks ago um, and the issue for women and domestic violence is still so um, so prominent and the funding for domestic violence services is still such an issue. The other big issue in New South Wales and in Sydney in particular is housing and housing affordability. So we're defending public housing which is both a state and federal issue um, and we're also campaigning for local councils to take much more of an active issue in the housing crisis and that means housing co-ops, it mean, means defending public housing and there's a big battle brewing at Waterloo South um, to defend the public housing there um, and to, to build public housing, 100% public housing. So there's lots of things, but um, we want the community to get involved in all of these different fights and the unions to, to take an active stand. And really, in the end, people's power gets the goods. Thank you very much for this interview, Rachel Evans, uh, one of the candidates on the New South Wales Senate ticket for the Socialist Alliance.